Genetics is the study of inheritance. Gregor Mendel, a priest by profession, a lifelong learner, a scientist who lived in the Czech Republic, began a decade-long research involving inheritance pattern in honeybees and plants. He, ultimately, his study on the pea plant became a primary model system to understand how genes are transmitted from parents to offspring. Mendel was successful in explaining the biological phenomena that demonstrated how traits are transmitted as he worked on 30,000 pea plants and gathered a lot of statistical data. Mendel performed hybridization, which involved two true breeding individuals that have different traits. In the pea plant, he identified seven unique characteristics that are involved with seed color, seed shape, flower color, pod shape, pod color, flower position, and stem height. He defined traits as a variation of the physical appearance of a heritable characteristic. Mendel used the first generation as parental generation. He referred them as P generation. The offsprings produced by this generation were called the F1 generation or the first filial generation. This generation was also a hybrid. The characteristics showed in this generation were considered to be dominant characteristics. He then allowed the F1 generation to self-fertilize naturally and produce the F2 generation or second filial generation. He noticed that there were a certain ratio of characteristics present in each generation. This became the postulate for his hypothesis. Mendel used some genetic terms that we need to understand. The expressed characteristic of an organism is referred as phenotype. The genetic makeup of this characteristic is called the genotype. For each trait studied by Mendel, he explained that the trait was carried by two alleles, one on each of the homologous chromosome. He called the alleles homozygous if they were identical and a hybrid combination of these alleles, you could have two contrasting traits and they were called as heterozygous. If both alleles were dominant for trait, it was considered to be a homozygous dominant allele. Example, AA. If both alleles were recessive characteristic, they would be expressed as lowercase AA. If the two alleles were not identical, such as capital A, small a, it was considered to be a heterozygous allele. The physical expression of this combination would result in the dominant allele. Now, let's see the phenotype expression of these alleles in this chart. P generation shows yellow seed plant is crossed with a green seed plant. In the F1 generation, 100% yellow offspring indicates that yellow seed color is dominant. In the F2 generation, which results due to the self-fertilization of the F1 generation, we see 75% yellow and 25% green progeny. The same process is now expressed with genetic expression. Capital Y, capital Y is the phenotype of the yellow seed color. Small y, small y is the genetic expression of the green seed. F1 generation results in a hybrid with the genotype capital Y, small y. In the F2 generation, you can see that there are 25% capital Y, capital Y, 
50% capital Y small y and 25% small y small y. This slide shows the genetic uh, cross as seen in the previous example, but notice the grid pattern in the F2 generation. Each commit produced at the F and at the end of the F1 generation segregates or separates the chromosome in each gamete. Notice capital Y and small y are separated. A grid pattern as shown here is called as a Punnett square. Notice how the gametes are arranged on the top and on the side of this grid. Self-pollination will result in combining the gametes randomly. Capital Y, capital Y forms one combination. Capital Y, small y is the second combination. And small y, small y, the third combination. Hence, the ratios are shown here. There is one combination of capital Y, capital Y, one combination of small y, small y, and two combinations of capital Y, small y. We did learn during the sexual reproduction of meiosis that chromosomes and sister chromatids separate. Mendel has proposed a law of segregation which follows the sexual division. Nature is a monohybrid cross. When fertilization occurs between two parents that differ by only one characteristic, the resulting pattern can be seen in this Punnett square. The phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1. Three offsprings are dominant and one recessive. Out of the three dominant, one is homozygous dominant and two are heterozygous dominant. Mendel also explained that genes do not influence each other with regards to the sorting of alleles within gametes. This can be explained through his theory of independent assortment. As seen from the image of meiosis, one homologous chromosome segregates independently. This means that whether a trait comes from a father or a mother, it cannot be dictated. A cross between two true breeding heterozygous parents that differ for alleles of two genes result in a different ratio, as you can see over here. The offsprings of such a cross between capital Y, capital Y, capital R, capital R, and small y, small y, small r, small r results in all capital Y, small y, capital R, small r. The self-fertilization of capital Y, small y, capital R, small r results in four different gamete combinations capital Y, capital R, small y, capital R, capital Y, small r, and small y, small r. These are present again on the top and on the side of the Punnett square. In the F2 generation, combinations are made by taking the gamete on the top and on the side and putting it in one box. Take your time to do this cross on a blank paper and you will find these 16 combination. This is considered as a ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. 9 round and yellow, 3 round and green, 3 wrinkle and yellow, and 1 wrinkle and green. The physical basis of independent assortment was also seen when we studied meiosis. Besides determining the offsprings of a cross between a homozygous or a heterozygous parent, Mendel also provided a technique that is used by plant and animal breeders to determine whether an organism that expressed a dominant trait was a heterozygote or a homozygote. The dominant organism is crossed with an organism that is homozygous recessive for the same characteristic. If all offsprings of a cross are heterozygous, 
then the parent exhibits a dominant homozygous expression of the gene. Alternatively, if the offspring exhibits one-to-one -one ratio of heterozygotes and recessive homozygotes, and the parent organism is a heterozygote. Gametes from parents of an unknown genotype is crossed with a recessive parent, and the result is used to determine if the parent is homozygous or heterozygous for that characteristic. Incomplete dominance. This indicates that neither dominant or recessive phenotype is expressed. Rather, a third phenotype is expressed. An example shown here shows when a red and white snapdragon were crossed, the results were being pink flowers. In such a case, the phenotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. Dominance. This is another variation of incomplete dominance in which both alleles of the same characteristics are simultaneously expressed in the heterozygote. The best example of codominance is seen in ABO blood type. The A and B alleles are expressed in the form of capital A or B blood type. However, if both alleles are present together, then that results in AB blood type. This is also a 1 is to 1 is to 1 genetic typic ratio. What is epistasis? Mendel observed that many genes expressed for a certain characteristics were controlled by a single gene. In other words, there is an interaction between genes and one gene masks or interferes with the expression of another. An example of epistasis is pigmentation in mice. The color depends on other team gene. Hence, it is a result in variation of the coat color. More or less of the brown shades will be seen in such mice.